So we continue to look at the conditions of revival and the conditions of the ri- revival that I believe are they're found all over Scripture, but uh, they're found, uh, I believe, uh, most evident within Second Chronicles chapter seven and verse uh, fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal uh, their land. And so, first of all, the condition of humility, and then behind that, uh, if we're humble, we're going to be praying. And And you know what? If we're praying, we're going to be seeking his face. And you know what happens when we begin to humble ourselves before God? Uh, We we recognize who we are. We're children of God and we're called by his name. So therefore, we humble ourselves before him. As we humble ourselves before him, that domino effect of prayer is going to begin happening because we know that we need him. And after that domino effect of prayer uh, that begins to happen uh, takes place within our lives, then we're going to uh, then begin to seek his face. And you know what? happens when we seek his face, uh, we're going to find him. And you know what happens when we find him? The most natural aspect of it all, we're going to turn from our wicked ways. God told us that we need to turn from our wicked ways. We do. Is there all kinds of wickedness out there in the world? Absolutely. There's all kinds of wickedness out there in the world, but God's speaking to us. God is calling his children who are called by his name to turn from their wicked ways. And so any wickedness in our life, we need to get it out. Any wickedness within our churches, we need to get it out. Revival will be hindered if we have wickedness in our camp. If there's sin in our camp, you you better guarantee revival is not going to happen, and we need to get it out. God will not bless uh, a church, a life, anything that has uh, sin within it. So if you hide iniquity within your heart, God is not even even going to hear your prayer according uh, to the word of God. God's not going to hear from you. And so we need to get that sin out of our life and we need to come to God in repentance uh, of removing that. Now we have revivals to make us aware of those sins, but what we need to do is prior uh, to revival is we need to be coming before God and say, God, uh, even the sins that I might not even be aware of, even those uh, mentalities and those uh, emotions or all those things, I I don't even know about. I'm unaware of them. Everybody else around me might realize it, but I don't even know it. God, would you make me aware of those things so that I can get them out and I can stand pure before you? Now, God has promised that he's going to hear from heaven and that he's going to forgive our sins. That's our sins. So would you pray that today? God, get this wickedness out of my life.